Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a raised bed using a rotary plow on a Grio or BCS tractor. It's the same process. Down this single rotary plow, the dirt only gets thrown to the right. So on this first pass, we are going to go down the middle of what we want our bed to be. Since this ground is already broken, we could do it in second gear. If this was new ground, you'd want to do it in first gear. Okay, on this first pass, you want to be about mid-throttle. And we just try to get in a straight line. That's our goal here. So now we're done with our first pass, we're going to do the second one. You're going to want to place the left tire in the groove made by the first pass. We're kind of digging out a bed to fill it in later. So here's the second pass. Okay, on this next pass, we are going to go to the right edge of our trench. So it's going to push new dirt and the dirt we made from the first pass to the right also. So here we go. Okay, now we're done with our third pass. The ditch is dug out, and this method is slightly slower than others, but it gives you a double dug bed. So now we're going to put the tractor's right tire on the edge of the trench, and we're going to push the dirt from the first and third pass back into the trench, and then we're going to follow up with the fifth pass to do the other side, and you have a nice bed. So here is pass number four. tractor's right tire is on the edge of the trench, and the same as before.
Okay, so here's our raised bed. It's about three and a half feet wide. You can make them as wide as you want. I did additional paths at the end just because I wanted a little bit wider. You can make them as long as you want and as wide as you want. You don't really want to go beyond three and a half, four feet. It makes it too hard to work from one side. So I hope that helped out those of you who have had problems making the raised beds with this tool. And that's with the Berta single uh, rotary plow. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a raised bed that's not double dug. It's faster than the method I showed you earlier. It's how I made the garden that I have. It's just one pass down and one pass back. So let me show you how I did that. Okay, we go down the first pass, the left wheel is going to be in the ditch made by the previous bed and it will make about a three foot bed on our return pass. So here we go. Okay, that's how you make your raised bed fairly quickly. This method does require the ground to be previously plowed because it doesn't dig up any of the weeds or anything that would be in the middle of this bed. So both those methods work. The double dug gives you a deeper bed. It does take longer. And then the single pass or I guess double pass method is faster. So you can cover more ground with, with less time. So let me show you what these beds would look like after you have them all in place. So this is my garden using the methods I showed you before. And it works very well. I don't like them more than really three feet wide because it's hard to work them from one side. So using those methods I showed you, can make this and it ends up making a path that's about 17 inches wide which is nice if you have a secondary smaller tiller like uh, any department store version they fit in there nicely so here's just the, the end product of our three beds I hope this helped some of you who have messaged me saying that you're having a hard time figuring out how to use this tractor to make these raised beds if you have any other questions or any other videos related to this tractor, just let me know and I'll get them done as soon as I can. Thank you.